like to show you a design that I just learned and it's um, it was inspired by Holly Hopper. I really like her. She, her videos are really good. They're easy to follow. What I'm going to do is a little um, a little balloon hairband for little girls. I really love this. I'm going to start with a green 260 and this is going to be the base of the balloon. And um, she likes to make seven petals, seven petals balloon. I've not been lucky with the seven petals, so I stop at five or six. So they're just simple loops. And I may not have put enough here in this balloon. But it'll work to show you what I'm trying to accomplish. So I've done a four petal balloon. That'll work fine. And then I take... Um, black balloon. This is going to be the head and the legs of my ladybug. Don't need a lot of air in here. Um, we're going to break off most of it. And I like doing a tulip twist for the face and that's really easy. You just press the nozzle in and grab it in the be from behind. There we go. You see it has a little tulip head. Twist it and then push the knot back in and that'll hold it tight. And then what I do, um, I think what I need to do next is actually the body of the ladybug. I love these balloons. They're already pre-spotted black, so you don't have to pull out your marker and make the black dots. They're already there. So I make a small ball, about a little bit bigger than a tennis ball, I guess, maybe a softball. And I put this into the middle of the, of the green base. And then I take my already started body, body, head and legs. We have the head here, and I'm going to need four little legs. So just do four little balloons, about one inch. And then I'm going to wrap this around the red and white dotted bag. And just twist that around. The rest you can cut off. I have to use scissors because my nails don't cut that well. And I like to tie a knot wherever I can and then run that through the base. So you've got your little ladybug sitting on a green plant. You've got a little mouth down here. And I like to use um, stick on eyes whenever I can because they're lo they look a lot better than anything that I can draw especially on black so I'll just put a couple of little eyes on her and there's a second little eye and I've got two little eyes on her and I also like to finish off with a little antenna and I take a yellow balloon, just a little puff of air in this one. You don't want it too big because it'll just flop over. Tie a knot. You might want to cut off the nozzle to take off some weight. There we go. And then separate this little puff of air into two to get that to the other end. There we go. And all the way to the top. Now we have two little antennas. You want to wrap that around her little head. And you want to wrap it a couple of times to make sure the hair doesn't come out of it. So this is what you have. And then you can cut off the bottom part that I was holding on to here. Take that. And get one of these headbands. You get these off of Continental Sales. Wrap it around, nice and tight. I think these are just so cute. Turn it around, and here you've got your little headband. This little girl that just wanted something cute. There you go. It's not made for people like me. It's made for little kids. But I think it's kind of adorable. And this is a Holly Hopper design. You can find her on YouTube. She has a bunch of beautiful YouTubes. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.